I was hiding. <laughs> All right, so today I am here with Twitch chat making another YouTube video for you guys, and it is gonna be about map ornaments. Okay, so here's my super lazy table of contents over here. One day we'll have production value. Oh, yep, and uh, this is chat. So if you guys want to. Uh, Stop by the stream, or uh, you guys want to be in the video? Come to chat. You know, we we'll do these. We do these on uh, on stream. So, we're gonna talk about how you can make a really good map awareness habit and when you should do it. All right. So this is a table of contents. So I'm gonna show you our takeaway clip. By the time you're done watching, you should be able to do this. Show the five v four clip. Okay, I'll show you the five v four clip. Oh, got it. Ah, oh, turn off the sound. Scuffed. Uh, scuffed video, by the way. Okay, let's keep going. So, this is the idea. You should be able to reproduce what we're seeing here. And no, I'm not talking about anything, okay? Even though we're dying, I'm talking about debating 5v4, right? So it's like, if you have no eyes, like most players in this game, you will not understand how we are able to accomplish a team wipe here, right? Most of you guys are watching this and you're like, oh, he just inted, and then he's like, wait, his team cleaned up. Oh, team difference, right? Nah, dude, nah, dude. You don't have eyes, okay? I'm gonna teach you how to get eyes, all right? You should be able to do this by the time we're done with this video, right? Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Back to track. Anyways, this is a table of contents, all right? So we got that clip out of the way. We'll reshow it later when we have told you how to do this habit, but uh, let's do the table of contents here. So first, we're gonna show you the usual, what usually happens if you don't have eyes, okay? Well, everyone, everyone who's watching this video, you probably have this problem. So we're gonna help you get a new pair of eyes. Uh, and then the second is we're gonna talk about the habit. You know how do we fix this? Um, how do we fix this habit? Okay. Or how sorry? How do we fix this problem? And what's the habit to uh, fix it with? And what kind of triggers we can attach our new habit to? So the formula is always uh, you want to get better at map awareness. You find a habit to work on so you can uh, fit, put it into your normal gameplay, your autopilot gameplay, whatever you want to call it. And then is a certain trigger. You want to insert it into so like for example uh, a trigger is something that happens in game so every time you want to last hit every time you want to fight anything like that and then third we're gonna we're gonna study together we're gonna have you practice together by looking at some clips show you some 5v4 stuff and i'll show you an exception to uh map awareness rules okay so this is map awareness and or man advantage let me show you the usual int okay you're a griefer if you do this and everyone does this so you're all griefers okay check this out so Fast forward a bit, you can see that uh, we're gonna go and try and kill this Darius, right? And most of you guys are like, oh, you know, we can kill a bitch, let's do it, right? That's that's pretty much 99% of League players. Oh, let's go kill this guy, right? Oh, oh, seems good, right? Seems good, seems good. Hey, we killed him, we killed the top winner, what's wrong? We're good, right? And then Thresh dies, okay, you know, sometimes it's not bad, you know, maybe we're trying to save him. And then, uh, oh, he dies, oh, okay, I'm dying, yo. And then, you know what the conclusion? You guys come up with the conclusion you guys come up with is I should have let Thresh to die, okay? I'm not even joking. That's what you guys would say. Oh, I should have started running earlier, dude. That's my mistake, dude. I should have started. Okay, killing Darius is fine. I should have started running earlier. Nah, bro. You're getting run the fuck down. Look at this. Look at where you are, yeah? You're gonna try. Oh, where's my pen here? Where's my pen here? Yo, you're gonna try and run from their second tower all the way down? Nani? You're gonna do this? Yeah, you think they can't just, you know, fuck you up? Yeah. Um, okay, so this is, uh, this is where the, sorry, this is super scuff. This is where the, the habit part comes in, okay? What's the problem? You're doing some 2v5 shit when your team is not here. And we all know that the team with more people is going to win, right? The team with more people is going to win. I'm going to put chat away for now. The team with more people is going to win. Okay, so based on that assumption, you should not fight when they have more people, correct? So that's the problem. You're playing on the side of the map. You're trying to do something when they have more people. Now, what is the habit or what's the trigger? Well, one trigger here we're seeing is that you want to go kill a guy. So this is where you can insert your habit. And what's the habit? Of course, it's look at the map, but I'm gonna teach you a nice secret um, that will help you guys understand what's going on the map fast. Because most people are like, oh, you should look at your map. But some people, when they look at the map, they get confused. They're like, oh, who's missing? I can't tell. And it takes them too long, right? It takes them too long to figure it out. So this is the easy solution. Go in order of who will screw you the most. Okay, so if you're playing top lane, it's going to be jungle. Yeah, jungle is number one, right? And then like 
mid and support, right? That's like the order of which screws you the most. So for us, AD mains, it's going to be uh, jungle and then solos. Jungle, mid, and then top TP, right? Um, assuming they're bot lanes here, right? So in this case, jungle, question mark. Okay, jungle's here, right? And then we look at solos. And then how do we look at solos? Who is pushing? Yeah, who has priority? So whoever pushes can go roam first, right? This is what we call a roam timer. Thank you, Prismo, by the way, for uh, these terms. Anyways, um, these are called roam timers, right? So they push in, they're gonna come running. Why can't Echo help? Because he can't see shit, so he's face tracking. And also, he has to go kill these minions. So it's doomed if he tries to help, essentially, right? So they're gonna roam. And yeah, so if you have TP, he has time to TP, right? And then you got a top laner dead, and you got a jungler dead. So, you know, if you go for this, you're grieving, essentially. You have no eyes. This is why you need eyes, so you can look at the map. So you look at the map, first check is jungle, question mark, he's here, right? If you don't see them, they're here. And then solo lane priority. Okay, they're on the way, right? So you go for this, how many people are here? Number of people on your team is two. This is literally everyone minus one, two, and then three, right? And then their team is fucking, they got five people, right? They're coming, they're all coming, right? So that's the habit. You want to do something, you look at the map specifically in order of, uh, look for the people missing that are going to screw you the most, Right? So if you're a top laner, you don't really give a shit if the ADC is missing, unless for some godforsaken reason they're like swapping early and they're playing Ash or Varus or something. And then for mid, it's like jungle and then support. Yeah, no one really cares if the ADC is missing, right? Unless they're playing Kai'Sa, I guess. Uh, but yeah, whatever role you're playing, look for the people who are most likely to screw you over first, right? So let's look at some more examples, right? Uh, how about this one? Look at this one. Take a look, right? So you see that uh, you know, their jungle is missing, our lanes are pushed, so we have roam priority, right? And uh, we're roam timer, sorry. Our, our solo laners have priority, so they have a roam timer. And our jungle is obviously not here. So what happens, uh, you know, if we fight, there's enemy junglers here. So it's 2v3. Unless you say, Nocturne, I need you to TP. Or Ori, I need you to roam bot right now. All right, so we can do this shit. And uh, the problem is that Nocturne has no TP and Ori's not coming, right? Ori's busy fighting Akali. So you 2v3, what's going to happen? Well, on average, you get done zone, right? Um, we'll get to exceptions later, but know that Man Avenger is doomed, right? Exceptions is like, um, exceptions are like you one-shot someone. So it's no longer Man Disadvantage. You just blow them up, right? You've seen that before, like Syndra one-shots you, Annie one-shots you, that kind of stuff. And then let's take a look at this one. This is one that happened uh, today, I think. Today or yesterday? Play too many games. I think it was today. Uh, oh yeah, it's definitely today. Anyways, um, same thing, right? You want to make a play. You want to go dive this guy. You look at the map. I want to see my jungle. I want to see jungle. I want to see solo lane priority. The enemy jungle is dead. They're pushing mid. Top is missing. So we expect top lane to come, and we expect them to come from mid, right? If we go for this play. So if we take a look, and uh, you know, of course, if we go for this play, they're all on the way. We see top. We see the monkey. So he's not coming. But of course, Thresh and Rise are coming, right? Here comes a TP. And then, I mean, you can watch this like, oh, this is like mechanically pretty good. We even trapped the Alistair stun. That's pretty insane. But uh, you literally cannot win. Look at this. Like, Rek'Sai came from base and he was dead. And he got here in time. And there's literally no way to save this. Like, actually no way to save this, right? So that's like the, the problem. Is that people do not have eyes. So if you have eyes, you can win off this idea every time. Because in solo queue, everyone's a griefer and they have no eyes. So once you can do this, right? Let me check my table of contents. What part are we on? Uh, yeah, now we look at some good examples, right? Let's look at some good examples. I'm gonna do the habit and then you're gonna see what's gonna happen, right? So let's take a look at this. Uh, let's fast forward a little bit. Okay, take a look what's going on. You say something's going on. What's, what's the, a habit? Oh, look at the map. And we see jungle, right? We see our jungle. Then we look at mid. Okay, it looks pretty even. And then top. Top's missing, right? So they're more likely to TP than we are, right? And uh, here's, a, here's a hint. Um, if you don't know if they have TP, they have TP, okay? Oh, Jesus. Thank you for the sub. We're going to have to edit this part out. <laughs> okay. Here's a, here's a tip for tracking TP. If you don't know what their TP timer is, they have TP. And if you don't know where your top laner TP timer is, they don't have TP, all right? Your top laner is not coming unless they actually TP, right? So we take a look at this fight, and, you know, I don't know what's going on top, but uh, Camille is busy fighting. And you see that who has priority mid? Zoe has priority mid. So we have more people 
than they do. So what are you trying to do? You're trying to fight, right? Remember, you have less people, you want to run. You have more people, you're trying to fight. So how do you make them stay? How do you make these three people stay? Oh, we just net forward, right? And they're like, holy shit, this Caitlyn's ending. Let's kill his ass, her dirt. And then, you know, because it's 4v3 and they didn't one-shot me, we're just going to kill everyone, right? Literally, literally, watch this. My team is literally running everyone down, right? So as long as you're not inting so hard that you get one shot, you're going to just kill everyone, essentially. Your team's going to win. Okay, take a look at this. Another example, right? You pause and you say, oh, what's going on on the map? We have top priority, you know, mid's pushed and jungle's missing, question mark. So we're not really doing anything yet, right? Team's fighting in mid. And they have man advantage because I'm more gonna roam than the karma didn't roam. So they're doing something over there, right? They go kill Akale, everything's nice. And what happens if you fight bot, right? Well, uh, we have our jungle and our support coming back, and they literally have two people. So, you know, three is greater than two. All you have to do is make them stay, right? Which is why we're putting the trap down. So karma has to go some strange path to go back to tower. And then, you know, you just let the enemy team in. Look at this. This is GM, by the way. You just let them in. No problem. Like, of course they're gonna run it down. They don't have eyes, right? They don't know where my jungler is. <laughs> you see this, right? And even if this fight went on for even longer, Yasuo is coming first, right? Since their 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 millionaire was dead, right? So this is the main idea. Okay, there's two more examples. Basically done though. We'll show you an exception after. But this is basically training. I want you to see what's going on in the map as some fight breaks out and tell me what the man advantage looks like. You need to train train this um this uh what's it called this habit okay you see what's going on here a lot of whatever is going on here their bot laner the darius showed bot so we just start running it down right and sure we start fighting everything's good we kill his ass pretty fast right so we go to dragon so what do you think happens this happens all the time don't do this in solo queue if you have four people and they have five people and they're doing dragon you probably don't want to try and fight them right <laughs> So if we have five people and they have four people, it's simple math. You literally just win unless your team gets one shot somehow. So all you have to do is just fight. Fight normally, right? If you fight on average, you just you just kill everyone, right? So they're actually just hard griefing here. They just lose the game here because they try to 4v5, right? So this is what you want to prevent. Stop 4v5. And then once you can make sure you stop 4v5, how can you engineer 5v4? For example, Force Dragon, Force Baron, aim tower, anything like that. Use your numbers to your advantage, right? And let's look at our, uh, we're gonna end with our exception, okay? Now, if you have more people, why don't you always win? It's because sometimes you can int super hard, right? Let me show an example where uh, we have five people and they have four people, right? Because Poppy's dead. We fast forward here and uh, Mordekaiser is literally getting one shot. He just disappeared. And Lee Sin literally got one shot. They didn't count as people. Unless they consumed important cooldowns, they do not count as people, right? So what happens if you try and fight when someone gets one shot? You're not, you don't have numbers advantage anymore, right? So now we're getting run down because it's literally like 1v4 since uh, our two teammates got insta-killed, right? Um, so yeah, that's kind of like the exception to, uh, to this idea, right? Is that if someone gets one shot, they don't really count as a person, right? So when you are uh, playing your games, I want you to think every time uh, on this trigger, whatever trigger you think is most important for you. So some people like when they start fights, they don't look at the map or when they try and help a teammate. Those are two really good ones. Or push a wave. Those are three really good triggers, right? Every time you want to push mid or push a wave, check map, jungle, and solo lane priority, okay? And jungle, okay? And then every time you want to fight, jungle, solo lane priority. Every time your team wants to fight, including a gank, right? Because usually people don't think when their jungle is ganking, they think their jungle has got it all figured out. No, your jungle has no eyes either and no brain probably, right? So if your jungle is ganking, you say jungle, solo lane priority. That way you don't get TP counter ganked, right? Um, so yeah, that's kind of the, the main thing I wanted to teach you guys. Thank you for the sub. I am Ruma. If you sub on stream, you can also be in the YouTube video. Yeah. So yeah, come to my, uh, if you didn't know, I stream, come to my, uh, Drop by my stream sometime, I guess. But uh, I guess we're going to end on that note. Say goodbye. Say goodbye, chat. Say goodbye. Bye, YouTube. Bye, YouTube. I, I hope you guys have eyes now. Bye. I'm gonna wave, you know, I'm just going just gonna to wave a little bit just in case I want to... Just in case I want to keep this in the video, you know? Okay, so done.
Thank you.